the main water shut off here. That turns off the water to the whole house building? It, to, to the entire building, hot and cold. And Not the sprinkler it. though. And that's where you can turn it off? Yes. Ah, okay. This shuts off the hot water only. For all four units? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's going to the four units or coming from the roof? No, not not from the roof. That's room. going it, to it, the it unit. It goes to the fixtures on all four okay. units. Okay, great, sweet. Yes. The pump up there is, uh, there's a differential, well, the, the controller's down here, and there's two sensors, one on the panels. Where's and the controller? Right here. Right here. The Caliphy solar controller. There's a sensor in this tank and the one on the roof and when the panels are 15 degrees hotter than the water in the tank it turns the the pump on it starts collecting heat and when that differential gets down to within about three or four degrees the pump shuts off because it's not of any use anymore right so and then, so the solar is preheating all it can do in this tank. When there's water drawn on the faucets, it's dumped, spilled into this tank, which is heated by the prestige boiler, ah. and it goes on to the fixtures. Cool. So, and then the prestige boiler also heats water, goes up this line to each of the the six floors no. living units or, or I guess you've got the basement and the, and the main floor on one unit and okay. then the upper floor so there's there's six no, six thermostats floors. in each building yes and the the controller six cement floors with hot water pipes running through mm -hmm. six manifolds and there's six thermostats coming into this pump box and you can see on the end here, there Which is, one, sir? there's a green light that means the power's on. And we have zones four, five, and six calling for heat now because the, the red lights are on. That's your house. You just turn it up, right? Yeah, but we only have two, so somebody else Right, is there's another one. There's three stats on. Yeah, and I believe that's... That's not making its noise yet. Yeah, that, that's no, all three on the south yes. side here. So you've got upper floor, main floor, basement. Wow. And they are labeled. You can see the labels that I put on them here. Second mm -hmm. floor, basement, third floor, and they're labeled on the ends there too. And so those red, red handles up above, do they shut off those? That's, that that, that, that's uh, you've got supply, here, return is directly above it. Okay. Supply, return. So we never touch so that return. Shouldn't have to Oops. touch any of those Pardon valves, me. only for maintenance. The, the, usually the only problem that you ever find with this is if the pressure falls too low, uh, it'll trip, uh, it'll stop when it gets down to, I think, seven pounds of pressure. Up. We've had that happen. Mm -hmm. um, oxygen the gets cooked out of the system. There's air vents in the system that eliminate air, and over time the pressure can drop. Uh, probably once a year at least uh, it'll need to be bumped up. Maybe for a while, every six months, you just make sure you get it checked. So is this one okay now? It's sitting on ten pounds. It could be, it could be a little bit higher. What's I, the I fix like to, for it? I like to see uh, about fifteen pounds. I just carry a little wash machine hose, and I can hook it up here, and run a little bit of water up, hold the end of it up, just fill the hose, and attach it to either one of these. Open this up so there's pressure and then open, crack that open and just watch the gauge. And when it gets up to 15 pounds, close this one, unscrew it, let the pressure off, okay. and then unscrew that, that's all done. So slow on water? 
And it's just Love adding one. water to that. Add, you're just adding just a little bit of water. It won't take very long. No, just a matter of a few seconds. But CJ, when, this, when the furnace stopped earlier this year, you didn't do that, did you? You did no. something else. Well, I just uh, reset. There's just a reset button. Mm -hmm. The boiler. Yeah. Where's yeah. that? Well, you, you can, uh, there's a reset button right here. Or you can just turn the power off and turn it back on. There's a little rocker switch here. <laughs> when you turn it back on, it goes through a, a cycle. little cycle. So I noticed you did literally on and off. You, there's no wait. You don't have to do a 10 second wait, wait time or anything like that for a reset no. on the power to off. Okay. And, and you've got the codes there. Setting uh, instructions here. But mm -hmm. All of that's done. You shouldn't have to be concerned about any of that. Just thing to keep an eye on there is the pressure. <laughs> well, yeah, we've got three of them on right now, he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe the noisemakers might be on the other side of the building, which could be interesting to isolate. If we could isolate it that way. On the other side of what building? On the north building. side of the building. Right now. 